Hey guys, today I'm going to do a video about something that you guys have been requesting on my previous videos and it's about how I got my groove back with my weight after having a baby. And I'm going to go into all of like what I did during my pregnancy and what I've been doing you know, after I've had the baby. For some of you who have been following me, you'll know that I've got a, a new baby, Lola. She's five months old. And so I'm going to talk through a little bit about how I kind of got my groove back after having her in terms of my weight and getting everything sort of back to to where I want it to be but we'll go into that. I've made notes on my phone because I want to make sure that you know I cover everything because there's quite a few things to cover and I'm going to try and get through it quite quickly but I want to be thorough at the same time. If I miss anything obviously you guys just put it in the um, comments below and I'll come back to you um, as soon as I can in between feeding and, and all the rest of it. Let me give you guys a little bit of context uh, about me, just so this all makes sense. In December 2018, when I got pregnant, I was 130 to 134 pounds. Now, if I was being good with my diet and training, I'd be more like 130, but if I was being a bit slack, I'd be nearer to 134, but my weight fluctuated between that kind of um, area. I am five foot three tall, I am UK size 10, and I'm 37 years old, soon to be 38 in January. I've always had quite a curvy but toned figure because all throughout school and college and university I've always been quite athletic and sporty. I've never been like super fit but I've been you know fittish but I've never kind of been really really overweight. I have been a little bit overweight when I was at university from all the drinking and eating junk food and I only realised that when I look back at photos but I wasn't you know severely um, overweight probably I don't know a stone or so. Now guys I'm not an expert on weight loss or training or nutrition or any of those things but I'm gonna I'm here to share you know my experiences and things that I've picked up along the way and my tips and tricks that I use to kind of you know get my get my groove back really and I hopefully you know you guys will find that useful and that's what YouTube's about right we're here to share our ideas and share our experiences and I hope it just helps you know one of you guys out there or all of you guys out there you can just take one or two things from what I'm telling you and apply it to your life and and help you with your journey of like weight loss or whatever you're trying to achieve if you've had a baby even if you've not had a baby and you just want to lose a few pounds or or tone up or whatever and I'm gonna you know share my my things with you that I, I've kind of gone through I don't actually think my body will ever be the same again I've had a baby now that's one of the most amazing things a woman can go through. So the fact that, you know, it'll never be the same again, I'm okay with that. My hips are definitely wider and I don't think I'll ever have the exact shape that I had, but there's no reason to think because you've had a baby, you can't be in good shape or, you know, you can't get to where you wanna be. I wanna talk about during my pregnancy, what I did in terms of eating and my fitness. I was still working up until around 34, 35 weeks. So my activity in terms of cardio was very, very high because I have a commute into central London, which takes an hour with train and walking. So I was getting a lot of kind of, you know, very active in terms of walking around everywhere and, you know, within the office and to meetings or whatever. But also in terms of the gym, I did not stop going to the gym. That's because I'd always been going to the gym for the last sort of 10, 12 years I've been going to the gym. So I didn't want to stop that. And I actually felt better when I went to the gym. So what I did at the gym was I do mainly weight training. That's my focus and that's what I've done. And that's what I enjoy doing. I think with training, you have to find what you enjoy doing rather than like forcing yourself to do it because you'll just never do it. So I stayed stuck with my personal trainer and I trained with him once a week and we did leg session together. Now we had to, you know, super adapt that a lot lighter weights. I couldn't lie on my belly because obviously I had the, the pregnant belly. So we adapted that and he knew exactly what to do when it came to training my legs um, being pregnant. I didn't actually put on too much weight during kind of months up to month three. And then obviously slowly, slowly my, my weight started creeping up. So I did legs with him and I would try and train around three to four times a week. So what would happen is I would do one session of legs with him, one session of back on my own, you know, weights, and then one session of chest and arms on my own. Also, you know, everything a lot lighter just to kind of get that, you know, pump rather than, you know, I'm not, um, I'm not really, um, you know, like going for it and I won't be straining or anything. I would just do light weights um, and then, I would do so that's three sessions legs back arms and chest and then the fourth session would tend to be like a cardio on the treadmill on a higher incline and just to get the heart going so that you know my, my kind of cardiovascular was going and you know I felt like I'd got a little bit of a sweat on but you know I wasn't like out of breath like I'd run some sort of marathon 
And initially I'd got recommended by the midwife to not go to the gym. However, you know, everything I read, no one was saying don't go to the gym. If you've always gone to the gym beforehand, then there was no reason why I shouldn't continue to go. And I definitely felt on the days I didn't go and I missed sessions, I felt worse. I felt heavy and tight and just, you know, just not myself. I didn't feel good. So I felt like continuing to go to the gym was definitely good for me. Second thing, I'm going to talk about is my food and what I ate during my pregnancy I got thrown with the biggest curveball that I was not expecting around month four I got diagnosed with gestational diabetes now some of you guys may have heard of gestational diabetes it's something that pregnant women can develop you know during pregnancy I'd never heard of it and it freaked me out I literally got the phone call and I just started crying I was at work and I was so upset I was like I've got diabetes and I was just in shock I was thinking how could I have got diabetes I'm like a fit person I'm healthy how could I have got diabetes I would assume that would be for someone that was kind of overweight before getting pregnant or just unhealthy so it really really surprised me but then I did some research spoke to the midwives and I realized that there was three factors that I was really really prone to get it age being one of them if you're over 35 you're likely to get it I'm 37 certain ethnicities suffer from gestational diabetes more than others such as South Asian and I am Indian so I was you know tick that box too and then if you have a family member who has diabetes and I have a parent who has diabetes so I literally was like tick 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 with three boxes you know hence why I ended up getting gestational diabetes so I had to go on quite a strict diet because I had to take my blood sugar levels four times a day and write, write it down in a little book they gave me and take that in nearly weekly to see my midwife and to see the doctor because they would analyze the numbers and if it was over a certain number you know that would not be a good thing so I had to make sure that food wise I'd cut out sugar and a lot of starchy carbs because they would obviously make your blood sugar spike and I was so aware of that so I had to change my diet during pregnancy it was kind of forced on me and maybe I wouldn't have been as healthy if I hadn't had the diabetes but that kind of made me really really focus on what I was eating if you have gestational diabetes the baby can end up having you know other issues that they can be really they can become um, really big inside your belly they can have jaundice when they're born so I was like I do not want to pass on anything to the baby you know I want a healthy baby like I don't want to I don't want to feel responsible that I've passed on anything you know to my baby so after that I really did change the way I was kind of thinking because between months naught and three where I was having kind of like mild morning sickness I wasn't I wouldn't have I wouldn't say I had severe morning sickness but it was mild and I really wanted to eat kind of bland food like potato and bread and really simple foods I don't know what it was but I just craved those kind of foods but once I got diagnosed with diabetes and found out what kind of food I do need to eat it was literally cut out the carbs and sugar and you know have a high protein lots of lots of vegetables and green vegetables and pulses and all that kind of good healthy nutritious food so I did cut out bread and pasta I did maintain I did it I didn't eat sort of small um, small quantities of potatoes but not like chips but more like boiled new potatoes or a jacket potato and rice I did as well but they would always be like the small um, portion on my plate so I would have you know say a chicken breast or a salmon and then I would have like a few new potatoes and then lots of pack my plate up with lots of veg and salad and it was it was kind of summertime as well when I was in those sort of key months uh, after finding out about the diabetes so eating lots of healthy salads was quite easy to do which was great because I think if it had been winter I would have craved more stodgy food and one of my biggest finds during this time was frozen veg in Tesco's like edamame, spinach, broccoli, cauliflower, carrot, baby carrots like they've got such a great frozen veg section which meant that it was just made my life so much easier because I was pregnant I was heavy you know I didn't fancy kind of spending hours cooking Cooking, I would just whack it in a boiling hot pan and you know and it was good to go so they, that was you know that really helped me out and that's the kind of food I was eating I did it was kind of low carb but it, w it wasn't keto because I've done keto and keto is quite hard to do and you know it was not it was not as strict as keto by any means it was just low carb healthy stuff like pulses and things like that Let's get into kind of once I had the baby and where I was and I'll give you some numbers. So just before I had Lola, um, before I went into labour, I would put on around 22 to 24 pounds. So I weighed around 152 to 154, I think it was around that. 
and after birth immediately after birth I, when I weighed myself I lost about 10 pounds Lola was six pounds four and obviously my placenta was just huge and the placenta is the reason about reason that I had that diabetes something to do with that something medical to do with that and obviously all the water so I lost around 10 to 12 pounds and I was at around 142 so about 10 to 12 pounds up from my original starting weight now for the first two months I didn't train at all I wanted to give myself a break I've just had a baby been through an intense 18 hour labor and I was not you know not ready for any kind of training or I wasn't even really watching my food I was just being kind of relaxed I've just had a baby I was running around after her so I was burning a lot of calories through that I'm breastfeeding so I was I was pretty chilled but I did actually end up losing sort of three or four pounds in that first two months without trying like I really wasn't conscious I wasn't weighing myself I wasn't trying to lose weight I just lost it because breastfeeding as we know does burn um, calories and I was just so all over the place that I wasn't even eating properly I was just eating like picking at bits sometimes and you know with a with a baby your sleep patterns all over the place so I guess I was kind of a bit stressed and all of those things meant I just lost another two to four pounds so I got to around 138 pounds when uh, two months ago at two months I decided to go back to the gym I was doing like I said I would try to do two to three sessions and I would split up my body I would either do a leg session or do kind of an upper body session and try and cover like chest back and arms all in one session because I didn't have as much time to go to the gym obviously now I've got a baby so I would try to go two to three times and two of the sessions I would tend to do more of the um, weight training but a lot lighter because I've lost a lot of strength and kind of put in a little bit of abs but obviously my abs are quite weak after having a baby so I'll just do a little bit of abs each time and maybe do one cardio session on the treadmill however I prefer doing weights because I feel like my body really responds well to weights when I do cardio I don't tend to lose weight or I don't feel the effect as much obviously we all need to do the cardio for our heart and our our cardiovascular system to keep things you know healthy and fit but for the actual kind of my actual tone and physique of my body I feel like weights is you know what really really works for me and gets kind of the shape I want and starts molding my body to help back to kind of how I want it and that's how I've seen results in the last two months I've seen a lot of results from the weight training I've done I've up my sessions now to four sessions a week now she's a little bit older and we've got a bit more of a routine going and in in between that if I can only get to the gym sort of three times I tend to just do the weights when I'm at the gym and I do my cardio with the baby what I do is rather than going out with the buggy I will always put my baby Bjorn on and carry her and go for like really long walks for an hour hour and a half you know as much kind of as I can squeeze in before her next feed or nappy change and I'll just carry her because I do have a reasonably high fitness level when I go in the buggy I don't feel like it really does does anything for me just pushing the buggy around but when I carry her, I feel like I get a bit more of a sweat on. And when I get back, I'm a bit more like, you know, my heart really did have a little bit of a workout. So I kind of try and do my cardio with her and then do just my weights training at the gym. Now, I just want to talk about the kind of food I've been eating, obviously, since I've had the baby. I have been eating lots of salads, lots of veg, very similar to how I was eating during my pregnancy. Um, not super clean, like, you know, we. I mean, I love my food, but... Sometimes you just need a little bit of a blowout and have a big bag of Doritos. So, you know, there's moderation with everything, balance with everything. I think, you know, crash dieting and starvation dieting, none of that works. Like, just be smart about it. Come up with creative ways you can eat healthy dishes, but still tasty. You know, I come up with lots of dishes where I know there's lots of good ingredients going in and it's really, really tasty and I feel fulfilled because I think that's one of the key things. When you've had a meal, if you don't feel fulfilled, you'll end up picking at things. And I think being fulfilled how that, however that might be so I love potatoes so I will make a few new potatoes rather than eating a big bowl of mashed potato or lots of potatoes I'll just have a few and I think that will you know that will kind of satisfy me enough that I won't go and pick or be craving potatoes the whole time so I think it's just about balance I eat kind of similar to how I was eating before so lots of salad lots of veg um, and lots of good proteins like a lot of salmon a lot of chicken Put some red meat with some lamb but just lots of fish like I like canned fish I like canned tuna salmon cod all of that kind of stuff but you know I, I do like my oils and butters and olive oil and all of that so I'm not opposed to frying you know a piece of salmon as opposed to sometimes poaching it but I might poach it as well so I mix it up one of the things I tend to do is box up lots of salad items so you can see here I've got onions and I've got cucumbers and tomatoes so I just spend half an hour cutting everything up and put it into boxes because I find when you've got a baby you don't always have time to 
prepare food so when she's asleep I just prepare everything and that way when I'm putting together a lunch I can literally just throw a little bit of each salad in there open a can of tuna whack it in or grill a bit of chicken whack it in and I'm good to go and I've you know got a nice filling healthy lunch with a bit of salad dressing or olive oil or whatever one of my recent favorite salads is I love lentils and pulses and chickpeas and kidney beans and I tend to make quite a few salads with those things so this is the PUY pu lentils I think they're called and what I've done is I've put some feta cheese in there, I've, I've crumbled some feta cheese, I've put some tomato, spring onion, sweet corn, and I've just made a, a really nice salad and I just squeeze a bit of lemon or lime on that when I'm about to eat it and it's absolutely delicious. Now my current weight is around 134 to 135 pounds, so I'm only a few pounds off where I was previously and I'm kind of happy with the progress I've made. I'm not trying to, you know, do anything crazy and lose it super fast, I'm doing it slow and steady, a, you know, a pound every week or so and I'm happy with that because it's just about you know making sure that you have moderation with your food and your lifestyle and your balance of diet and gymming and all of that because I do have a new baby and I want to enjoy this time rather than being too focused on like losing the weight because when she gets older she'll never be a baby again and I can focus on losing the weight you know afterwards but I nearly got my groove back I'm feeling good most of my clothes and jeans everything pretty much fits me just slightly bit tighter around the, the, the waist but I don't think you know my stomach will ever be exactly the same again but you know you just work with what you've got and I'm happy with you know my progress so far. One thing I wanted to tell you guys was I use the cow shed stretch mark cow shed stretch mark balm I think it's called I'll pop it down in the description bar I don't think it gets rid of existing um, stretch marks but it helped me to um, not get any in the first place I would put it all over my belly and my legs and arms and everywhere and just like literally cover my body in it and it worked perfectly for me. I do it on a daily basis and a whole tub lasted me the entire pregnancy so I, even if it's a little bit expensive I think it was worth it. I hope you found that useful and I've shared my experience and any tips and tricks you can take from that. If I've missed anything out comment it below and I will try and get back to you in between kind of looking after the baby. Otherwise what we were looking to do is be happy. Don't get fixated on a number. It's all about how you feel in there and how you feel in there. We all need to just remember that is, you know, weight loss and all of that, especially after a baby, is not the most biggest priority in life. Your priorities are people and friends and babies and your children and your husband and all those kind of things. This is me just sharing my experience with you because if someone is getting down about their weight or wants to lose some more weight, then maybe something I've touched upon today, there's no big secrets, there's no big revelations that I did anything that, you know, is not already out there. I did everything in moderation. I ate well, sometimes I ate naughty, but you know, I'm, I'm nearly at the weight that I started at and I'm kind of happy where I am. Even if I don't lose any more, you know, very quickly, I'm kind of happy where I am. I want to enjoy my baby, I want to enjoy my life. And you know, the, the it will all come when, you know, all in good time. Our bodies will probably never be the same again after having a baby, but that's okay. We have a beautiful baby and I think that is the most important thing and that is the priority we, you know, we should always keep that in front of mind. So lots of love to you guys. Thank you so much for, watch, so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Mwah! Bye.